This is probably the most important thing that I've ever said on this channel. So listen very carefully. Okay guys, there is something that we need to talk about. On my How I Learned to Code in Four Months video, some of the more common comments I get is along the lines of, congratulations, but I could never do that. And while obviously I appreciate all the positive comments and I recognize that those are made with the best of intentions, in a way, those are kind of frustrating comments because I, what I really wanna do with this channel is to help you do the same thing as I did. And this saying of, oh, I can't do it, really speaks to the wrong kind of mindset. I'm not special, like really I'm not. I'm just a regular guy who happened to figure out the right principles, the right mindsets and the right methods very early on that allowed me to learn to code very fast and very effectively. At the end of the day, learning to code or learning any skill is just really about understanding your brain. It's about understanding how your brain learns things and how to optimize all of this to allow you to achieve what you want to achieve. There's four principles that I'm gonna be sharing this video that have massively helped me to learn to code pretty fast and I've left the most important one for last. So make sure to watch this video all the way through. But first, let's talk about learning. How does the human brain learn? Let's face it, most of us are really bad at learning. And it's not only that, most of us don't even realize that there is such a thing as being good or bad at learning. Because schools, aka the places where you're supposed to be learning things, don't teach you how to learn. So that is why the first principle is to always educate yourself. Don't just trust what your intuition says or what your teacher said at school. Because a lot of the times people just have some idea of what is the right thing to do something, but they never take the time to question it. They never take the time to really look into if that's actually right. And they just end up assuming that they're doing things right. When in fact, there's a much better way. And this is a general principle about educating yourself about everything. But here I specifically wanna focus on how how to learn effectively. And I talk about this all the time on my channel. You can go watch my other videos on like other specifics that I've done. But for now, what I'm gonna leave you with is a couple of resources down below in the description. Firstly, is a book called Make It Stick. And this is really where I learned most of these things. It goes over things like how most study methods that are used in schools, like for example, rereading stuff or highlighting things on your textbook, actually very ineffective. Instead of that, what you really need to do is focus on retrieval, which means actively retrieving retrieving information from your brain. When you do this, you're literally hacking your brain to think that this thing is important. It makes your brain go like, this thing about how to create a class in Java must be important because this person is trying so hard to actively remember it and to actively understand it. Another great resource is this Coursera course called Learning to Learn. So whichever one of these two you prefer, if you prefer a book, just read Make It Stick. If you prefer a course format, just take the learning course on Coursera. Whichever one, they're gonna be linked down below. But the general principle is educate yourself and preferably about things based on actual science. I want you to make a habit to yourself of always questioning everything, always looking into everything yourself and always trying to find the most reliable information. Okay, so once you've figured out your learning process, the next step is to find a community to share your journey with. Learning to code can be a very lonely journey, but as humans, we're social creatures. So while you can definitely just go it alone, Doing it really isn't optimal because it isn't activating your brain's desire for that social interaction. But luckily today, even if you don't know anyone else who's into coding, you don't have to go it alone. One of the platforms that's great for developer communities is Showcase. Showcase is essentially a social network built specifically for developers. If you're a programmer, joining Showcase is an absolute no-brainer because while in the past you had to use a bunch of different services to showcase your work, to connect with other people, and to apply for jobs, what Showcase does is it does all of this and a lot more in one platform within three minutes of signing up. One of the core goals of Showcase is to solve developer representation, showcasing who you are, what you've done and who you've done it with holistically to fellow developers and companies looking to hire you. For example, the Circles feature lets you connect with people you've worked with and collaborated in the past to build a true network of people who can vouch for your skills. You can also share your tech stack, your repositories, and show people what you're working on. And after that, you can use the Find Jobs section to see which companies are hiring developers based on your skills and preferences. Showcase is all about the developer community. And all this really makes the journey of learning to code much more fun, which is at the end of the day, what it's all about. But that is why I've hooked up with Showcase for them to sponsor this video. I highly, highly recommend you check them out. It's completely free to join and it will be the first link in the description down below. You can even connect with me if you want.
Thank you for Showcase for sponsoring this video. The third principle is to focus on the process, not the goal. And I know you must be thinking that, hmm, doesn't he always talk about the importance of having goals and to having your why? And yes, I do. And yes, having goals is obviously important. But any successful person will say is that simply focusing on the end goal is not enough. You actually need to enjoy the process. And to put this in very simple terms, when you first start learning to code, your main motivator is probably going to be things like a very high salary that you might get at Google or something or some dumb youtubers journey on how they learn to code very fast and manage to get a job even though they probably don't even deserve it whenever you see these successes that other people have had it all seems very easy but trust me it never is the one thing that i want to drill into your head that nothing worth doing is easy if it was easy to achieve something everyone would be achieving it and therefore it wouldn't be worth achieving at all because it would just be the norm, right? So don't expect it to be easy. And the thing is, at some point, once you hit the dip, which I talk about more in this video, you are going to realize that, oh, this is actually not very easy. And unless you're enjoying the process, unless you're enjoying the act of coding, the act of building progressively more complicated things, of learning more every day, you are going to end up quitting once you realize how much work it actually is to reach whatever goals you have. The way to hack your brain brain out of falling into this trap is to shift your mindset to just tell yourself to enjoy the pain, to enjoy the difficulty, to enjoy the struggle. It's like going to the gym. When you first start going to the gym, you're really motivated about like becoming really muscular and attracting other girls, right? But after just a couple of sessions, you realize just how difficult it is. You realize how much pain you're in every single time. But the way I got over this is I taught myself to enjoy the pain. I love the feeling of pushing myself for more every time. And that is how you need to think about learning to code. And I know you're now asking, but how? How can I learn to enjoy the process? And that is where our last principle comes in. And this is probably the most important thing that I've ever said on this channel. So listen very carefully. But first, a very shameless plug to check out my Instagram. My Instagram really hasn't been a part of this channel so far that much. But going forward, I want to integrate it more into this community as well to share more personal stuff about my life and what I'm doing, as well as behind the scenes content about producing these videos. So definitely go follow me there. Let's start engaging more on Instagram. So the last principle is that you need to adopt a growth mindset. If you want any of these to actually work, if you want to use science of learning to learn faster, if you want to have any results to show to your coding community, or if you want to be able to enjoy the process, you need to adopt a growth mindset. What is a growth mindset? To bring us back to what I said in the beginning, these comments that I get about, oh, congratulations, but I could never do it, sort of speak to a very fixed mindset. They speak to people thinking that if you can't do something now, you can't figure out how to do it in the future, which is the exact opposite of how you need to think. I need you to understand that as humans, we're extremely malleable creatures. We're extremely adaptable to our environments and what we want to do. Most things that you believe that you can't change can actually be changed if you just believe that you can change it. Because when you believe that you can do something, you just naturally end up making plans in such a way that lead to successful outcomes. Because you just assume that it's possible to do, so you just figure out, okay, I'm at A, I need to get to B, what are the steps that I need to do to get there? Whereas if you don't believe that it's possible to reach this point, you're never even going to end up making the plans to get there because you just think that, well, I might as well not even try. This is the power of belief and I'm believing there's actual science to show that simply shifting your mindset to believe that something is possible can have tremendous effects when you're actually achieving them. And this is the one thing in common with every successful person ever in any facet of life. So stop thinking with a fixed mindset. Assume that you can change everything, take full responsibility to, for whatever you're doing at all times and your life will change. If any of this was helpful, all I ask you to do in return is to hit the like button down below in the description because that shows me if this video actually helps someone and it also also makes YouTube to show this video to more people. We've just hit a hundred thousand subscribers on this channel which is absolutely incredible but we are just getting started. Let's grow to a million. With that, if you want to hear my exact story of how I learned to code in four months and got a job as a software engineer, watch this video right here. It has over 1.4 million views. Also, as I said, don't forget to follow me on Instagram down below. Thank you for Showcase again for sponsoring this video. And with that, let's all keep coding and enjoying the journey along the way. See you next time.